In this project, we want to determine a baseline, or in other words, the normal cortisol concentration, which will make it possible in the future to determine when dolphins are under stress. In this project, we take saliva samples from the animals using a cotton swab. With this sample, we can measure precisely the cortisol concentrations of the saliva and then determine the natural cycle of the cortisol. And any alteration in this cycle will show us when and if an animal is exposed to stress. The technique we use is not invasive. It's quite easy to handle the animals because they're accustomed to coming out of the water. You just take some saliva from the oral mucosa and that's it. It's really simple and doesn't disturb the animal at all. The technique used in this project is already known and has already been applied in other projects. However, never before with such a great number of animals as this. We've sampled about 100 dolphins from the 30 parks all over Europe to be able to determine the natural cortisol concentration of the animals as precisely as possible. The information helps us to determine the animals' particular stress situations and thus to improve their well-being. And the main objective of all zoos is to ensure the best possible well-being of the animals they are responsible for. Stress is a completely normal reaction in the body. However, if an animal is permanently or chronically exposed to stress, it may be possible that it then becomes ill or has symptoms of sickness. This investigation can also be done with wild dolphins. Once the normal concentration is determined, it can be applied to other dolphins. It is then, for example, possible, during an analysis of an animal, to determine how much stress this investigation causes in wild animals. Every time a zoo prepares any kind of research work, the focus is always put on helping wild animals and on improving conservation and the knowledge about certain species so that it can be protected much better.